welcome back. So I wanted to do a quick pour today with nice bright colours. So I've selected um, all Montmartre paints, uh, these ones, apart from this one, she's a PBO. So I have some Stella Blue, I've got some Turquoise, Medium Yellow, Titanium White, Magenta, and this one is a PBO Redescent, which is a nice green, yellow, shimmery colour. So uh, let me just show you my consistency. Uh, all five my, my colours I've mixed one to one with my pouring medium. It is really nice and thick. Um, the PBO I've actually mixed two to one because um, it's um, iridescent colour slash metallic. It does need to be slightly thicker, otherwise you're gonna lose it. Um, in your pour so so I would like some cells today so I will add some treadmill silicone so I know you can't really see the uh, label anymore but um, it's 100% treadmill silicone so I will put um, I've got 40 grams of paint and 40 grams of pouring medium so i'm going to put three drops in each so that's 80 nearly three ounces so the phthalo blue is a semi-transparent turquoise is opaque medium yellow is semi-transparent white is opaque i shouldn't have put any in there but never mind magenta is semi-transparent and I'm not sure about that green. So I managed to alternate semi-transparent and opaques and then dark lights, dark light sort of. So hopefully, so you need to mix your silicone in. So you don't want to whisk it, you know, in like if you want to make meringues, um, you just want to stir it in a few times. There we go. And a bit more stirring there. That's all you need. The more you stir, the more you introduce air bubbles anyway. So you know you've got to find a happy medium with everything. Okay, so I decided um earlier on how I wanted to layer my cup so that is that order i'm just going to start with some white i mix slightly more white so i could start with white in the bottom of both my cups but otherwise i will follow the same um, layering in each cup so let's put them this way and let's try to be fast and efficient okay that's some blue some turquoise, so I'm just literally drizzling it over. That's it. Oh, maybe separate them a little bit. So the medium yellow. So Mont Mart do a lemon yellow as well, uh, which is extremely, extremely bright. It works great for sales. I mean, this one's good as well. It's not as bright, but. Um, if you have more colours than just your blues, I would advise you to use that medium yellow because the uh, the lemon one might really take over and just be a bit too much. There's my magenta. I love that magenta. It's a glorious colour. Right, green. Hopefully, pink and green won't make brown, but we'll see. But because it's an iridescent. It doesn't really behave like a standard um, acrylic paint, so I'm not too worried about putting them next to each other. And then we go back to our blue. So let me just, so I've got just enough two layers on each, of each color, sorry. Um, also the canvas, yeah, it's a recycled in my canvas. I was not happy with pour. I kind of removed all the paint from the surface. Once it was dry, I just put a couple of layers of uh, ditto on it just to seal it again. So I know it's not the most attractive um, canvas, 
but I'll do for experiments and trying um, these colours it's say 30 by 30 so nice and small let's do this uh, let's try it so I've got a bit left but I don't want to do I want to scrape it off oh, come on. I'll just make some more if I need to So that was the rest of my turquoise. The next one is that medium yellow, which will produce really nice cells, hopefully. Even without silicone, um, you do get cells um, with this semi transparent color. So. So with silicone, it's always um, not too much, not too little. Just had for for a standard cup one, that's about two hundred and fifty mils, um, which is actually about eight ounces. Just put a couple of drops. That's all you need. If you put too much, um, the silicone whilst the surface can get really greasy. When you come to varnish it, you, it's going to take you ages to clean it up. And even cleaned up with baby wipes or face wipes, you know, to not remove really makeup kind of thing. You're still going to have some left and you're going to still ruin your painting. Even worse if you try to resin it. So don't put too much. A little goes a long way. Um, yeah, well, that's my advice anyway. So magenta, glorious color. There we go. I just put it off. Magenta usually takes over, so I expect yellow and magenta will be taking over um, this pool, but. They might surprise me. You never know. Alright, the last bit of my iridescent yellow green. There we go, nice and thick. You do need it thicker. It's not just your standard metallics like gold and silver that you need thicker. Any kind of iridescence or with any powder, any um, diner, you know, anything like that needs to be thicker. Right, so let's flick this one there and one there. Okay, let's just let them run along the side. I have a bit of cardboard for all the corners. I have my torch. I'm going to remove the silicone, I have tissue paper, I am ready, get in there, like I said before, a bit like when you make bread, you've got to tap the bottom of it to see if it sounds hollow, see if it's ready, it's exactly the same for the cups. So I can see on the side, colour of magenta and green, I think we're about there. Okay, let's do this. I told you, magenta and definitely, okay. It is quite thick, but that's fine. That's what we want. Let me just move the cup. I've got a bit um, worm there, but that'll be fine. Oh, a bit too fast. Let's salvage. Look at all these colours at the bottom. All the stripes. Don't put it back in the middle. Just colour your corners. If you want to save a bit more paint, um, use it for something else. Use it to make skins for jewellery. Use it as a flow enhancer. Um, on the striped paw, you know, but just do not put it in the middle. Right, a few things 
nothing there it's just that wormy bit there that i'm not happy about but i do not want to ruin it let's see what happens i've got the lovely so there's some turquoise and yellow on this one i'm gonna start stretching first then i will torch i don't want to torch straight away so let me put my corner catcher as julie cuts calls it once again great tip and let me just go on the boat left and right very gently and let's try to see if we can go over come back and release let's turn it the other way let's come back in the middle the same way that you went there no i'm going to keep it this way okay let's hold it so let's travel again over there in the other corner so if you can just go over and come back and let it go right now we have covered quite a lot let me just bring it back in the middle very gently that's it that's just about in the middle there what my hand clean and now I'm going to torch and see what happens if any of the silicone is bringing some semi-transparent colours with it so nice and high <laughs> made me like because I thought the yellow would really take over and actually it's the magenta and the green. Well the yellow and the blue obviously makes it green but a few sailors here and there. develop obviously we need to tilt over this way get rid of this corner but let's just see what we've got so far a few things happening that's good lovely cell around there four or five colors um, in the ring so lovely so let me just turn it around and then let's try to move it. So you see how the cells are growing? But you need to give them time, you know. It's all about giving things time, be patient. Don't think you're just gonna flip a cup or your pool and get perfect cells immediately. It will not happen. You've got to work at these things. Let me see if I can, let me just bring it back in the middle. Very interesting cells going on. So let me just turn it round so I can bring the paint of the weight over there and then remove that corner. Let me just see if I can talk a bit more because it's not, there's a lot of negative space there and I would like to have a few more cells to stretch and yeah, make them quite bigger. Okay. Do this. Stretching it, not stretching the cells, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna make them bigger, work on our composition. So I'm gonna take it on the boat, left and right, left and right, 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 left. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, let's bring it back up towards here. Okay, I think that will be a lot of work to enlarge yourselves, but I really don't want to ruin it. Let's put some pen there to help it flow over. Okay. We'll make it a little bit thick. I'm not sure. It is very hot here today, so I fear that... Um, that might play quite a bit part not thickening the mix a bit too hot my next pour um, I think I will add more water just because of the heat okay so I'm trying to think that's it so if I can straighten it a little bit and stretch, stretch. So this time I'm stretching on four, all four um, borders, not just the top or bottom. Or and it's just because of the way the paint um, behaved and created cells. Okay, so I need to get rid of that bottom bit. Where is the weight of the paint? It's fairly down. So let me just turn it there so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm trying to get rid of that. Let me just go at an angle. That's it, very gently. Come back. Yeah, the mix is too thick. It is a shame because the colours look lovely, they do work very well together, but they are not, the, the cells are not stretching as easily as I would have liked. So let me see if I can go over that corner and get rid of those. It does look like a landscape. Bring it back. Let me put it back in the middle so you can see it. I'll turn it towards you. Just do this for a second. That's it. Okay. I'm going to have to torch more. I know I shouldn't, but there's too much negative space for me. I'm not the one for a lot of it. You know, if I've got paint under there and cells ready to pop up, I want to see them. So. There we go. I'm ever so slightly closer. If that's the way it takes, that's the way it takes. Let's stop there. Now I'm going to try to stretch it a bit more. Lovely, lovely, lovely cells popping up. Kilo, magenta. Wow. Okay. It's a shame I've got the because I really like that cluster of cells there. Um, I've got to sacrifice them. I'll just sacrifice them. That's just one of those. But I think I'm going to push the paint over there. Let's see what I can do with this. I haven't got that much paint left on there. But I do need to try to stretch it. It is thick. But there's still some on there. Okay. Let's make it bigger. Stretch on that side. So ideally, if you try to stretch on the four sides, logically, you should make your cells grow. As long as you do it in a 
um, not the regular runner, it's not one I've lost my word now. Consistent, that's the word. Yep, yeah, consistent runner, so look at this, much, much better. Okay. Kind of blended the the really big misshaped cells. I've kind of blended in with the rest. I'm quite pleased about that. They do. They're less. Um, they don't stand out as much. So that's really nice. Just wipe the bottom of it. See if you can. And just make sure you're still in the frame. Do that because I've not checked that for ages. Yes, just as good. Okay, let me just give it a quick overall torch and I will bring you in. Very excited. <laughs> Bring it in. Right, so let's have a look at all these cells. So I'm very pleased with how um, the rings are really multicolored. Every single color um, that went that was in the um, in a cup to start with are showing. So I've not lost any. I'm really pleased about that. Got nice gradients, so I've got from that blue, that orange, some magenta, the green, more blue, some purples. So yeah, I think it worked quite well. But I will have, because of the heat, um, I will have to thin my mix because I should not have to work so hard to get out. So, but I hope you enjoyed it and um, I will speak to you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.